Oh my god, my god, my god, my god. We are back playing. What is this? Path of Exile? Yes. We're going to do a low level build today, which does insane damage, even on low levels. 2,252 DPS. That's pretty good. Let's see how that does versus the Warden. There's the Warden. <laughs> Yes, we are level 12. Let's go to town and talk about uh, how this character is built. So, here we have the character. We're right outside of town. I realize it's better to do this outside of town because I can't see the buffed stats uh, inside of town. So here we have a lot of small buffs. We're going to talk about all of them in just a second. Burning Arrow DPS. 2,252 split arrows. We're pretty good clear as well with the split arrow. Uh, especially since he's in a two link here. So, this is the high, of course, if, you know, compare this to a high-level character, but for level 12, this is very good. This actually started off as an experiment that I wanted to do. Initially, my idea was creating a character which did, like, 10,000 DPS or something on level 12, level 14, something like that. But then I realized it's probably better to do a low-level build which is more applicable for most people, something you can, you know, create on a shoestring budget. So that's what I created here. This... Right here is something you can get for like 8 chaos, something like that. We're gonna talk about all the items, but first we're gonna jump into the skill tree, I think. Uh, because there's two things which make this build work on low levels. So, first of all, we have the hidden potential. 25% increased damage for each magic item equipped. This is a very cheap UL, well, you can get it for an alchemy or a chaos. That's kind of like the same thing for all the equipment that I have, or most things. So, like, whatever, everyone is selling it for the lowest... That they're willing to go for their to their stash and put something out for. So, uh, so that's about the prices of all the items here. It's very, very cheap. The hidden potential, 25% increased damage. This is not super good, you know, on high-level characters because you have so much better gear. But on low-level characters, this is insanely good. Uh, same thing with Mantra of Flames. This is another thing which later in the game it kind of sucks. It's a jewel that nobody ever uses, and that's why it's super duper cheap. But for low-level character, adding 3 to 12 fire damage is very, very good because your early game skills deal almost no damage at all, so this is an insane buff. And then you just pick up some increased attack speed uh, here, and some projectile damage. <laughs> it's not much to talk about when you're level 12. <laughs> you get to hear like 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, so, let's have a look at the items here. Uh, the first item, or the items that you need for this build, I would say, is Stormcloud or Quill Rain. It doesn't matter too much which one it is. Uh, as you can see, we have 2,252. Let's see here. And now the DPS is 1,800. So it's not that big of a difference. I mean, it's a little bit of a difference. It's better if you have access to Stormcloud. And since it's just one alchemy to trade for, uh, <laughs> it should be very cheap for you. Uh, also, this bow uh, comes in like, I think it's 30% to... 50 increased attack speed. I just bought a 49% increased attack speed one. But if you can get 50, of course, that's better. There's a lot of optimizations. You can probably get up to 3, 4,000 if you want to really invest in your level 12 character. But if you want just want something cheap, then you can go for the same things that I just went for. Uh, gloves, we don't have anything special. We have the buzzing fish scale gauntlets. It's just something I bought off the vendor because it had 1 to 15 lightning damage. Healthy battered helm. Not much to talk about, I would say. <laughs> Shane made best of thick skin. Just throw these guys. Throw the transmutation orbs at anything, and it essentially works. Uh, the more important item should, is the highest bite, I would say, which adds a little bit of intelligence, which we need for a couple of items. Uh, then I have a mandible talisman of snow, which is pretty good, because it's both an, uh, a magical item, so it adds 25% increased damage, but also it has 9% increased attack and cost speed, but you don't need to have this. Uh, it's just as good with the Ignomon. Uh, as you can see, 2,252. If I swap these around, 1,000. Yeah, it's like almost no difference if you swap these around. Uh, and then I found one Leo's Iron Ring that I had lying around. If you don't have a Leo's Iron Ring, just any any blue ring will do. But it's pretty nice. 1 to 4 fiscal and the 15% increased damage. I have a Leo's Ring here just to make it free to cast all my spells, which is pretty sweet. And then we come to this thing. And this thing... I think it's the thing that kind of breaks the early game builds, honestly. Uh, this item is so goddamn good. It used to be expensive, uh, the Stygian Vice uh, 
from what I remember, but now it's super duper cheap. I picked this up from, <laughs> for I think an alchemy or maybe a chaos orb or something like that. And then I crafted these jewels. If you search for like I level 12 or something jewels, you can buy them for anything. As I said, like an alchemy or a chaos or something. And then roll some bow mods on a searching IU. Well, here I rolled cold and lightning damage. This was probably the most expensive item. I think I spent two chaos rolling this with the, uh, what are they called? The blue orbs. <laughs> Whatever they called. Uh, that is pretty much the build. Why do we have all these things? Well, this is to get more buffs so that we can activate our uh, Mantra of Flames. And that's how we reach all that damage. Uh, I think that the build is super fun to play. It gets going immediately. Essentially, what you're gonna do is, when you start off, uh, on your, when you, whenever you clear the first area, whenever you killed Hillock, just go to uh, Tarley or whatever his name is, pick up the gem as a reward, uh, and then you pick up split arrow and then just have this uh, Stygian vice prepared like this is only a strategy problem that works if you have another character already that has farmed six or eight chaos orbs for you uh, but if you have that in the bank then you can make a very strong character all at level one and then you will be one shotting everything from there on out <laughs> from level two essentially from when you've cleared hill lock you will be one shotting everything which is pretty sweet uh, yeah this is, uh, this will be a shorter video. There's not too much to talk about. Uh, but if you're interested in seeing more of this, uh, then let me know in the comment section. I could create, like, best level 20, level 18 builds. Because as the game progresses, when you get to level 16, level 18, you get access to some really, really strong skills. I think you could do some serious, <laughs> serious DPS. Uh, already at level 20, something like that. So, thanks so much for watching. And see you next time. Member shout out Member shout out <laughs> The thank everyone so much for watching honestly and a special thank of course to all our members on both the Patreon and the YouTubes Blue Dragon, Own77, Adam Alexis, Ramen Noodles for Me, Magic Pistol Man, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, Herman M, Agony, Reborn, The Soft Pillow, Snick, Luria Stars, Michael Aguilar, Shamanix, Spencer Hofsty, Alex Michael, Nathaniel Nissard, Laser Set to Stun, Eric0234, Jeff Henry, Ellie Curtis, Leaning Into It, Santa John, Michael W, Pocky U, Matthias Pauli, Toplets Investments, Kronos 1107, W Lutes 1978, P, Peter Gold, Bora Raw, Strange Brontides, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Tandex, Smog JC, Marcus Rutledge, Tim Stokes, Wizza, QD Later23, Brian Gutierrez, Amano84, Seth Hickok, Way, Ian Cusack, Mesomok1, Ye Old Bassist, Dingo Scrub, Orion SSFL, Crew the Barbarian, Link is Weak, Nicholas Zanotti, Rainbird 2002, 40k Television, Acros Ascending, July, Moonlight Star, Slim Jimothy, Donkey Kong, Wilker Ribeiro, Fed Lucentini, Carlos Martinez, R. Noble, Betsuma, Brandon Dobbs, Callous Dismissal, Carlo Palumbo, Dan Goodsell, David Neumann, DBK Drummer, Dingo Scrub, Drew Styles, Eventum Tantum, Freeman Stephenson, Geoff Yorger, Kip Kastner, Magneto, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Piotr. Stalorsk Pote, <laughs> Prince Mauk Bagauk Esquire, <laughs> Rainbow Cake, Serge Karamarov, Wonderbread, and X Covenant X. You guys are amazing! <laughs> and thank you for all your support. If you also want to become a member, help support me and rule the underworld and all that jazz, then check out the join button next to the subscribe button or check out my Patreon link down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Oh.
also thank you to the badge holders on Patreon. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>